So I'm currently trying to figure out how I can downsize this big old bag and just bring around this. I think you can make it work. So come to find out that real estate is an essential work in my state. And so we still have to work, we still have to go and shoot these houses. So try to take every precaution by not having to first off bring this big giant bag, which is already overkill for, you know, a small setup. Um, and so I'm gonna try and switch to this little fanny pack carrying thing by Peak Design uh, to, you know, just keep everything on me. Usually when I'm going into these houses, I'm placing whatever I'm not using in like their pantry or closet. So because of current situations, I don't wanna do that. So I wanna just keep everything on me. And then of course we have the new EDC pack. Wipes, gloves, masks, and shoe covers. So again, just trying to take every precaution we can. Sterilizing my gear, my phone, the gloves after we touch stuff. So, cause like we don't touch a lot when we're in these houses, but we always have to open doorknobs, turn lights on, so. Can't be too careful, right? Okay, I think I got this pack where I need it to be. Just need my lens. Just need this camera, which will go right in there. And then I have measuring tool. It's a laser pointer because we measure the rooms in the houses. And on the side compartment in there, we have one battery. So I think that should be good. And then in this front pocket, ear pods and the tripod and the carry, the old everyday carry. So I think this will be much better from just having to carry this, put this somewhere. That way I carry everything. This stays in my car. I basically clean my gear after I get back to the car. So I just have to carry this and then keep this over my shoulder. That way I never have to put anything down. So hopefully that works. Any of you guys using these hydro flasks? I love them. Put ice in there and it's like 48 hours of ice, so stay hydrated. Uh, it's pretty crazy right now. Obviously, I don't have to fill you guys in. You know what's going on. You don't need someone else telling you what you're getting bombarded with every day with every social media outlet and every news network, so. I'm also super curious, like, how are you guys? You know, if you're a freelancer, a full-time worker, or someone that's uh, considered an essential employee, how are you going through this? How's your family? How's this affecting you? Do you think you're gonna make you know, a lot less money this year. Are you worried you're not gonna be able to pay your bills, your mortgage, your rent? I'm super curious on that because I'm in the middle of that. While I have a salary job, I am also a freelancer and it's crazy because any weddings that I had this month and next month are gone. Luckily they're not canceled, but they're postponed until like later in the year. So hopefully it doesn't get affected then as well because we don't know how, we don't know how long this is gonna last. But it's kind of crazy because I feel like all my other friends that are full-time freelancers are really hurting right now and struggling because that's their only source of income. But for me, the most important thing, of course, is the health and safety of my family. If I don't have to be out for any reason, I'm gonna be inside uh, because frankly, I don't wanna be outside. I don't want to, I don't wanna raise that risk for no reason. Luckily, my wife is not working from home. Super happy about that. She doesn't have to be in an office setting dealing with people in and out. So really thankful for that. Uh, this is where I feel like, you know, filmmakers, YouTubers, and people that just have cameras, it's gonna be really uh, interesting, kind of fascinating to look back maybe after this has passed in a couple years to remember what it was like through this, you know, whether we go back to just life as we know it by next year or everything's all normal. It's gonna be really interesting to have these videos in this time period to look back on. At least that's what I think. But take this video as like a little bit of like a short entry, um, just kind of like wanted to touch base, honestly. And so people that watch this channel, I wanted to just see again how you guys are doing, what you think about everything going on, how this is affecting you. I'm super interested to see 
super interested in that. And just above all, you know, just stay home if you don't have to be out and be safe and just make the best of your time at home, learn a new craft, perfect your craft, get online and watch videos, learn stuff, or make videos of stuff that you're really good at. So thinking about starting that YouTube channel, I think now's the time, especially if you're just bored at home, like a lot of people that I see are. So if you have a, if you're good at a craft or a skill set, just pop a camera on and start making some videos because I promise you someone can benefit from that because someone out there doesn't know as much as you do and they want to know the answers or how to get started in something. So start that YouTube channel. But I guess I'm going to wrap this log up right now, this little video log and get out there into the world. going to be safe though, but until the next video, see you guys. Hmm. I gotta edit something first. One more pro tip. Uh, don't forget to wipe down your phone, your keyboard, and your gear. Just getting one of those Clorox disinfecting wipes. Don't forget about those and the doorknobs. Okay, friends, so we shot two houses today. The setup worked great. I was stoked. Uh, a lot of precautions, um, you know, just can't be too careful, especially because you don't know what we're touching in these houses and all that, but the kit worked out great. I didn't have to put anything down, so I'm stoked on that. Now we're gonna go home.